it's time for story of the week. My name's Danica and your name is Thailand. Thailin. And today we're going to read If You're Happy and You Know It. So you might know the song for If You're Happy and You Know It. What happens in the song, Balin? If you're happy and you know it, you clap your hands. But today, because we're doing some keyword signing, we're going to do the Auslan sign for clap your hands, which looks like this. It's like you're waving, isn't it? Waving up high. And this story is a Aussie or Australian edition. So we're going to see some Australian animals. Now we don't have signs for all of the Australian animals in this story. So for Galah, we're going to do the sign for cockatoo, which is like making your crest. And for the sign for wallaby, we're going to do like kangaroo. So like the kangaroo that's bouncing, because that's a little bit like a wallaby. And the sign for bandicoot, we're going to do a B and the sign for mouse, like a bush mouse or a bandicoot. And there's also a Tasmanian devil in our story. And there's not a sign for Tasmanian devil. So we're going to spell T-A-S and then do the sign for devil. Are you ready? So this is If You're Happy and You Know It. It's a scholastic book by P. Crumble and Chris Kennett. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, the signing clap, good job. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really should just show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. What animals first? A possum. If you're a possum and you know it, Climb a tree. It's a cute little possum, isn't it? What's next? Oh, it's a wombat. If you're a wombat and you know it, dig a hole. Dig a hole. If you're a bandicoot and you know it, twitch your nose. Twitch, twitch. What's next? A wallaby. If you're a wallaby and you know it, bounce around. Oh, good bouncing. Bounce. Good bouncing. Here's our galah, so like a cockatoo. If you're a galah and you know it, flap your wings. Great flying. If you're a goanna, so this is the sign for lizard, and it looks like it's sticking its tongue out. If you're a goanna and you know it, stick out your tongue. Good job. This one is a kookaburra. If you're a kookaburra and you know it, laugh out loud. Ha ha ha! If you're a dingo and you know it, scratch your fleas. Oh, your fleas might be on your body. Scratch, scratch, scratch. If you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your fangs. Snap, snap. So we also see crocodile flap hands, but we're snapping our fangs. Snap, snap. Uh-oh, they look a bit scared. If you're a Tassie devil and you know it, let out a growl, growl. If you're an echidna and you know it, spike your hair. Oh, it's like a mohawk. Spike. If you're a koala and you know it, fall asleep. Good night. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really should just show it. Show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yay, great signing. So you can go a little bit further in that book and it actually shows the full song. So if you're a possum and you know it, climb a tree. If you're a possum and you know it, climb a tree. If you're a possum and you know it, then you really should just show it. If you're a possum and you know it, climb a tree. So you can do the full verse for all of those. And if you're interested in singing the song, if you're happy and you know it with the feelings, you can look back on our Facebook page and in some of our earlier sign of the week on Wednesday that we published, we did if you're happy and you know it with some feelings like sad, if you're tired and you know it. So feel free to have a look back through. Thanks for signing with us today and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.